Nearly seven years ago, a YouTube channel named Poochie and Pansy was started up. The videos on here present themselves as a children's show about two puppies named Poochie and Pansy, but they very quickly take a somewhat unnerving turn. The mystery of this whole thing does in fact expand beyond this YouTube channel, but it's important to have a good understanding of the channel first. The first episode begins with Poochie telling Pansy about a dream he had in which a kitten was locked in a tower and used by an evil witch to find something called the Midnight Crown. Pansy elaborates that she had the same dream. After this, they both conclude that it must have been a telepathic SOS message sent from the distraught kitten. They both agree that they should have to go to a place called Sufferdark to rescue the kitten. Their first destination before reaching Sufferdark is Batwing Cave. Upon reaching Batwing Cave, they see another character that they address as Freddy the Firefly. Freddy tells them that he will show them the way to Sufferdark, but mid-sentence he is cut off and we are shown a screamer. Headphone users, turn your volume down. Look, I think I see Freddy the Firefly. Hey Poochie, hey Pansy, it's me, Freddy. I thought you guys could use my help. Let me show you the way to- Part 2 is skipped for some reason, so we aren't yet sure what events led up to this episode. Part 3 begins with the narrator stating that Poochie and Pansy made it to suffer dark to confront the witch. Pansy appears to be trapped in a cage above a cauldron of green liquid, asking Poochie for help. This weird creature, who I assume is the witch, then appears on the screen and offers Poochie a deal to save Pansy. The witch says that if he ever wants to see Pansy again, then he has to let him take his eyes. Poochie agrees, saying he doesn't know how else to save Pansy. The witch's hand then begins to closely inch towards Poochie, and moments before reaching his eyes, the video cuts to what appears to be a fan. We then see the witch again, for a split second, smiling, and then the video cuts to a phone making that beeping noise. The video cuts once again to what looks like some weird mannequin thing, and we can hear crying in the background. <laughs> Strangely enough, one of the mannequin's eyes are closed, and the other one is slightly bulging. This might have some correlation with Poochie's current predicament. The video then cuts one more time to a more sinister version of the opening screen with the words, You are alone, but you do not know it. The next video begins with a logo from Dulst Family Entertainment. I looked up the name of the company, and as I suspected, it's not real. However, I did find out what Dulst is. Dulst is a Dutch word, and it's a superlative form of dol, which means crazy. There's also a website named Dulst, which I know is in some way associated with this YouTube channel, since it is linked on the banner. The video begins with Poochie telling us that sometimes we see scary things on TV, but we need to remember that what we see on TV is fake, and that the things that we see when we go outside are what's real. This is when things start to get a bit strange. The audio starts to get distorted and slowed down, and the image begins to change into a much more unnerving one. We are then shown once again the mannequin thing that appeared in the last episode, but upon closer inspection, I don't think it's a mannequin. One difference is that both of its eyes are closed now. The video cuts a text that says, you are alone. It cuts again to birds on top of cars, then once more to the skeleton we saw in the screamer in the first episode. The next cut shows a dark room illuminated by some type of red light, and the subsequent cut shows repeated text saying, trying to reach you. At this point, the audio in the background becomes more intelligible. It says, This was the greatest mass extinction in Earth's history, with 96% of all life forms disappearing from the face of the Earth. We are then shown another montage of images, one which depicts Poochie with no eyes, and then cuts again to a camera's perspective of someone walking in a building. I'm not sure what the building is, but I guess it might be a hospital or maybe a church because there's something that kind of looks like a cross on the right side of the hallway. I wasn't able to make out the audio too well for this part, but I tried. Once the person reaches the end of the hallway, we're shown another line of text that says, All Dead. The title of the fourth one is shown in English and Japanese for some reason, but the actual voices in the episode are spoken in Japanese with English subtitles. The episode begins with the narrator saying that Poochie and Pansy have defeated the witch, and they now have to save the kitten. We're also shown two quick flashes of the witch with no eyes. Poochie and Pansy are staring at a prison door, and Poochie tells Pansy that this is where the kitten is being held. When he was asked how he knew that, he stated that he could see it with the witch's eye. We are then shown that one of Poochie's eyes was replaced with that of the witch. After a long shot of the door, we are shown some animated distortion in which we can see the words, cannot hide. 
The video then cuts to icicles, or maybe the stalactites, and once more cuts to text, reading, Find you. After another cut, we are shown from a first person point of view, someone walking in the snow, until they encounter the same words, Find you. It then immediately cuts to a hooded man, wearing a white mask, reaching towards the camera. We are then shown more icicles, and then the text reads, Everyone in your world is dead but you. Only you exist. The final cut briefly shows the words, find you. Not that this is very relevant, but it kinda reminded me of the creepypasta in Egg. Part 5 begins with the hooded man in the last episode, turning towards the camera, saying, You can't hide. You can't hide. We are then presented with a title screen, and then it cuts to some more disturbing imagery with strange noises, like usual. When it comes back to the title screen, though, the actual title of the episode is censored. It cuts once more to some disturbing imagery, and then cuts to a video of a basement, followed by a longer video of a hooded man moving around in an unnatural way. Then the episode finally begins. Poochie and Pansy have finally found the kitten, and after staring at it for a while, you guessed it, more disturbing imagery. This part kind of speaks for itself, but what I found interesting was a shot in the forest that mirrored a place in the Poochie and Pansy series. We are then given the same message we heard earlier about the thing on TV not being real, but this time it's a little bit different. Remember, what's on TV is real. When you go outside and look at the rest of the world, that's what's make-believe. And with that, the episode is concluded. Part 6 starts off with one of those old swings, and then cuts to the title screen. The narrator says, Now that Poochie and Pansy rescued the kitten from Strife Tower, they return to Puppy Hill, where they await their next adventure. The episode just depicts Poochie and Pansy sitting at the usual spot with the kitten. Pansy notes how Poochie's eyes look normal again, and Poochie explains that this is one of the powers of the eye. They then find a scroll, and before Poochie can finish saying who the scroll is from, the video cuts to more disturbing imagery, as usual. The letter G ends up appearing, which has been reoccurring. Then text appears that says, you must find it to become free. Now the title says, a message from and then the rest is censored for some reason. However, they weren't quick enough to censor the final word. If you pause the video at the right time, you can actually see that it says, Gangadiddle. Whether or not this was done intentionally, I don't really know, but I will explain the significance of this later. Part 7 begins with Poochie, Pansy, and the kitten sitting in a field. The kitten meows, and we're met with another jump scare. Poochie reiterates his message from earlier about how what we see on TV is real, and what we see in real life is fake. We are then of course shown more disturbing and nonsensical imagery like always, until we are shown more text that says, David's mind traverses many parallels, his memories will help you. We are then shown the letters and numbers, XRZ9HOUIFEE, -E. then the video ends. The final video on this channel is the second episode that was skipped earlier, so keep in mind this does take place between the first and third episode. It just shows Poochie with no eyes and Pansy with no mouth. Poochie is repeatedly saying a line from the first episode over and over again. Yeah, 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 you're probably right. Yeah, 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 you're probably right. Yeah, yeah, you're probably, probably right. Cut again to the usual strange imagery, and then we see the guy in the hoodie reaching for the camera. The description claims that this episode was originally posted at the proper time, but it was removed by YouTube for an unknown reason. So that summarizes all the videos, but still leaves the question as to why these were created. As I'm sure a lot of you have suspected, Poochie and Pansy was created to recruit players for an alternate reality game called The Hunt for the Gangadiddle. Back when Poochie and Pansy was first made, links to the videos were posted on 4chan, most likely by the creator, to recruit players. The idea was obviously to get people curious as to what these strange videos were about. Finally, the sixth Poochie and Pansy episode would give the players a hint that would give them many more leads for the game. Although part of the episode is blurred, I mentioned before that if you pause at the right time, you can see that the text actually says Gangadiddle. This word alone would help the players find the YouTube channel belonging to Gangadiddle. Now, I don't want to make a video entirely about the ARG, since this video is mainly about Poochie and Pansy, and is long enough already. However, I don't want to just leave you hanging, so I'll try to summarize the ARG as best I can. The first video on the Gangadiddle channel was titled, Commencement. The video just said that the hunt for the Gangadiddle begins now, and then gave players a link to a PDF file with instructions. The link no longer works, and this video has been unlisted, which leads me to think that this ARG is probably over by now. Over time, the owner of the Gangadiddle channel would put out puzzles for the players to solve in order to find the Gangadiddle. 
you're probably asking yourself by now what the Gang Diddle is. The Gang Diddle is the main character in the ARG. All that is really known about him is that it can travel between worlds and take souls of the people living in fake worlds. We don't really know what it looks like, but in drawings it is shown as resembling a white robot with several limbs. It's also not known which side it's on. All we really know is that this is the thing we are hunting for. Remember the weird hooded guy we saw in some of the Poochie and Pansy videos? This is another character in the game that calls himself the Huntmaster. He's also the creator of the Gangadiddle YouTube channel. He does not claim to be the Gangadiddle himself, but he claims that he is controlling it and keeping it in check. He expresses that he is somehow bound, and as a result, can only communicate with fake worlds through riddles and encrypted messages. However, he also exists in the real world, which takes a toll on his body and causes uncontrollable head movements that we witnessed in one of the Poochie and Pansy videos. The whole ARG is pretty much consisted of players solving puzzles in order to come closer to finding the Gangadiddle. I'm assuming this ARG is over now for a few reasons. One, a lot of videos on the Gangadiddle channel have been unlisted. Also, one of the final videos on the channel is titled, The Gangadiddle Has Been Found. The video says, The Gangadiddle Was Neutralized. It was dispatched by Tomato Goatee on September 29th, 2012. His proximity to it ended the threat of its continued existence. The world is safe now. The isolated worlds have collapsed. The people trapped in the isolated worlds are free now. Many never even knew they were imprisoned. Now that the Gangadiddle is no longer a threat, I'll be returning home. Thank you, Hunters. You have saved lives. You have saved worlds. Congratulations and a job well done. Nice work. But at the same time, there's also evidence that says this might not all be over yet. In the same exact video, there are split-second images that say, We couldn't save her. The stars are so pretty. And LSS must be stopped. I don't know what LSS stands for. In addition, the next video is simply titled, I am awake. The video just says, Why am I awake? And at the end, for a split second, it says, The stars are so pretty. Maybe this video is intended to hint at the Gangadiddle coming back, or waking up. So, I honestly don't really know what is currently going on with the ARG at the moment. It kinda seems like it still has loose ends, but at the same time, nothing has been posted by Gangadiddle on YouTube or on Twitter since 2013. So, maybe the game is active, maybe it's not. I don't know, and to be honest, I don't really care. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.